Previously on Trials and Tribulations, Phoenix is coming right at you. In case you missed anything, it's time to fill you in on this case. I saw a familiar face. It can't be, so we went to an unfamiliar place. It's at a spiritual retreat called Hazakura Temple. Where we met some new friends. My name is Bikini. You're Miss Elise Dinan. And uncovered extra mysteries. This Iris, where is she right now? What other things lie in store for us? And who in the world is Iris? Find out on Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations next. Excuse me, but who are you? <gasps> yeah. Hi there. We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Uh, nothing's broken, we promise. Uh, is something wrong? Uh... Um, um, no, it, it's nothing. I wonder why she spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? It's not the cold, is it? Uh, did, did you say something with Maya? Uh, not you too, Nick. I... <sighs> Never mind. I... My name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope you get along. The pleasure is mine. Oh, uh, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful. And a bit spacey, I guess. But then she wasn't the only one. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. <laughs> or something. <laughs> uh, Nick? That girl... It, it can't be, but... This is way too unreal for me. I gotta take my mind off this. Hey, look, a poster. A hanging scroll. It doesn't look that old. What, what is it? Why did you scream like that? The, the, the scroll! No, you, you don't understand! It's my mother. What? It's Misty Fay, the master of the Korean school of channeling. Are are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That crest at the top of the scroll with the really darkened ink? That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. There's no mistake. So that's what that mark means. Mm. What is it? N nothing. No, I... It's just that... I last saw her over 15 years ago. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mother, and I can't even recognize her face! Maya... How could I... What kind of a daughter doesn't... No! Snap out of it, Maya! Um... Uh, the, the, there! Look! Uh, the actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like! Phooey... <laughs> It's locked. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, Nick! You know you want to open it for me! Break it down! Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, you've been kind of in a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari! I know what it is! I-R-I-S! <laughs> uh, Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes la, la, Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. <laughs> Nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Uh, uh, hey, Nick. Uh, huh? 
Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Thinking. Uh, right. Oh, how about Iris, I bet? Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's... Uh, we can just, um... Hey, do you want to build a snowman? Er... Er... Not? Um... Well, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. And in one piece, too. Uh, Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? Uh, hey! What's wrong with you? You've been so out of it! Ever since he met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really quiet. Too quiet, even for you. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. <sighs> hey, you! Wait up! Uh -huh. Uh, you think he's yelling at us? What did we do? He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way! Ah! Hey! I know you! You're... a cucumber? Nah, just kidding. Whoa, uh, sorry, gotta run. See ya! Hey! Wait a minute! Come back! Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Larice Denim. Liar! You're Larry! Your clothes may change, but you're still the butt. Shut up! I'm... I'm... Larice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge! So, it really is our Larry! Not that I get why he's pretending to someone else in the first place! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, do I have some questions to ask you. So, what are you doing with a last name, Denim? Well, I... I just... I want to start over again with a clean slate! A clean slate? <laughs> you remember, don't you? Last time? The Master Mask case. After that, I, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny? Do you mean that... The Magic Bottle by Miss Elise Denim! It's so beautiful, so moving, so. so gentle. My heart felt cleansed! I was saved! Maybe I should buy a copy of the Magic Bottle. Wow! Larry will make a great book salesman! I really want to get that book now, too! Come on, Nick! Buy one! Buy one! But first, hold it! Larry! Author 101, go! She's the most wonderful person I've ever met! I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. Pearly likes her too. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret! I'm totally not a stalker, you know! Wow! That's a beautiful photo! 10 out of 10! Wait, what was that last part? You want a copy, don't you? It's okay, I just happened to make extra prints. That'll be 50 bucks. Wow, that's totally not stalkerish in any way. Still, it's kinda hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So, tell the truth, you must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? W what are you talking about?! I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women! Talk about a bad case of denial. Really bad case. Mm hmm you said it. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a whole picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make a whole book? You're not exactly Bob Ross, you know. Hmm... Now that you mention it, I wonder... 
It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. That's not very pure, is it? It's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended, and then something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with this least thing. Ah, look at you! Larry and Elise, sitting in a- No! You're wrong! It's not her! It's the other girl! Sister Bikini? Other girl? Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. I didn't know you were into cougars. Wow, if I had Glen Oak's lottery ticket, I'm willing to bet all of that money on the possibility that he's also here for Iris, too. Like you're one to talk, Dick. Oh yeah, her! My little Iris. Oh yeah, and I would have won. She's really pretty. Like a doll. This girl, she's perfect! She's exactly my type! I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her, kind of like in Titanic. Yeah, you've always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? He even got you between a rock and a hard place once, I hear. Hey, wait a sec! Didn't you say you were swearing off women? And I quote, ESPECIALLY NOT WOMEN! Huh? Y yeah that's right yeah, of course I have! I have basically, but... 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 I Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream! This guy will never change. Hey, is that a walking pretzel? Hey, Pearly! Aww, dinner preparations are complete! Please come quickly to the main hall! Alright! I can't wait to dig in, Pearly! Mm, I'm sure it'll be delicious! I'm going to go to the Inner Temple and call Sister Iris! I also want to have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be training. Boy, am I stuffed! Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? I'm sure my force numbers can handle it. And, well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. I'll survive, Pearly. Don't worry. Mm, I'm so worried about you. Well, well, well. Let's not dilly-dally shilly shally. You must be ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. No, right, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. All right, Maya, take care. Hope you don't freeze or anything. Gotcha. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 o'clock for lights out, all right? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to! I... um... I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? is absolutely smitten with Mr. Nim. So, Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Uh, well... 
I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there, buddy. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise? So, for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. That's kind of a tough word. That's another tough one. It says roast. What kind of a book is she reading anyway? Well, I'm gonna go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise! Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. <sighs> it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. <sighs> Why couldn't the nearest bathroom just be a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Yeah! Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Nim, uh, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no, but... have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. What? That's not like her. Uh, I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Miss Elise de Nim. A woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But... The really mysterious one is... Oh! Ah! Uh, s sister Iris! G good evening! The real mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by. I should try to talk with her, and maybe get some answers. Oh my god, she looks exactly the same. Oh boy, oh boy, what do I ask? Um, your sister Iris, right? So, um, when did you come to Hasakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, I see. But you... Didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll with the Ivy University Literature Department? No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. I... I see. But... Once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. Uh, that's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any Cyclops. So I guess that means she's not lying. Don't stare at me like that. But anyway, let's change the subject. Um, well, what kind of a place is this anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must be. 
must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people, who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? So then why stay in a place like this? Uh. Is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost ten o'clock now, huh? Mr. Wright? Y yes If it's all right with you, I would like you to have this. But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. Uh, th thank you, Iris. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Yes? Just now, you, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. That's... Sister Iris, please, tell me the truth. You and I, have we ever met before? <sighs> oh, great! God damn it! Wow! I... Iris. Oh, it, it's almost ten o'clock. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I'll have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. But I guess for now, I guess I'll try and take a piss, which is what I was supposed to do in the first place. <laughs> what the? That blood-curdling scream came from the courtyard! That scream... I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's there. On the ground! Mr. Lee! Stepped on something soft. Hey! Don't step on my tummy like that! What the fuck are you doing lying there in the snow? I was passed out. What do you think? So that blood curdling scream was. Forget about that! Hurry up and call the police! Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still get reception up here in the mountains. You must have a cell phone on you, right? I am... Um, didn't bring it with oh, me. Oh, you're useless. I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You'll have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, 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 run as fast as you can. Uh, yes, ma'am. 
If you don't hurry, Iris will... Iris will... This is bad. This is real, real bad. <sighs> it's farther than I thought. The bridge is just up ahead. I've got to tell Maya what happened, too. Of steel samurai, you gotta be kidding me! Really? Dusky Bridge, it's burning down! What the heck happened? Hey, Nick, is it Toasty in here or is it just me? By the way, what are you doing here? Ah! Huh? What is it? Is it me? Do I got something on my face? Don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack! My name isn't Larry! It's Larice! Larry, hurry up and call the police! I'm going to the Inner Temple! D don't be stupid! The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck now! Listen to me, there's been a murder here at Hasakura Temple! What? The murderer might have fled across that bridge. I have to make sure Maya's safe! If I have to risk my life, so be it! Please, call the police! I've got to go! Get out of my way, Larry! It's too dangerous! Nick, wait! I must have been crazy. it was, but I still went for it. Nick! Weakened even more by the fire, that rickety old bridge's planks snapped and gave way. And as I was swallowed by the internal darkness that surrounded me, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. This time of night. <sighs> yes, Edward speaking. Let's start project. <laughs> 